Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Bohemian Tech. As the name implies, we're going to be looking at tech. I'm the Bohemian, and for our first official video on this brand new YouTube channel, we're going to be looking at the brand new Roku Ultra Streaming Box for 2019. Its improvements over the 2018 and 2017 units are billed as faster channel launching because of a faster processor and a couple of extra buttons on the remote personal choice for which services you want to stream immediately, and a mute button which previous remotes have not had. Without further ado, we're going to unbox this thing. I have already cut the seals, but otherwise this is a brand new unboxing. On the top we have the Roku unit itself. Uh, on the front we've got the Roku Ultra logo. Uh, on the left side we've got the little Roku proprietary tag. Right side, we've got a USB port for uh, sticking in a thumb drive with your movies and videos and, all, and photos and all that kind of stuff. On the back, we have an Ethernet port because Ethernet connections are a little more stable than Wi-Fi. Your HDMI port, it does not have an HDMI cable, by the way. And a micro SD port. And I am going to stick a micro SD card in here right now because... I have found with the 2018 model, having the extra space that the micro SD card provides launches apps a whole lot faster than if it's not there. And of course a power port. On the top we've got another Roku logo and this button here is a remote finder. If you've got a spouse or a kid or a dog or yourself that loses the remote, you press this button and the remote chirps and helps you find it. Now we're going to put that aside for now and see what else is in the box here. We got a quick start guide, which I of course will ignore because, well, to us tech nerds, looking at the instruction manual is like admitting defeat. We also have the brand new remote here. Got to compare it to the 2017-2018 Roku remote. It's got the same power button and back button and home button. Also the same OK button and arrow buttons. Uh, return button, microphone button, which I thought would be a little bigger because voice control seems to be all the rage nowadays. Uh, the star button for bringing up options on various apps. Um, rewind, play, pause, fast forward button. Here's where we get a little different here. This is a one and two. These buttons are for programming in your own preferred services and for uh, starting up your own services faster. I personally am going to put uh, YouTube TV on button number one. Haven't decided on number two yet. And then the four buttons here are buttons that uh, the services have paid Roku to put on the remotes. Uh, the, new, the new remote that I got from Roku itself has Netflix, Hulu, ESPN, and Sling. And just like on the old remote, uh, the Netflix button is the only button I'm ever going to use. The old remote has buttons A and B, not for uh, streaming services, but they're for more gaming type use. Roku has apparently decided this year that it's going to be a streaming company and not a gaming company. Turn the remote over. You've got the volume up and down button. And the new remote has a mute button. Hallelujah for that. On the right side, we have a headphone jack, which is missing from cheaper Roku boxes. I should mention Roku has about five different models and this is the most expensive one coming in at 99 bucks. Though as Christmas comes a little closer you'd probably be able to find it a little cheaper. This is kind of a nice feature if you're uh, watching in bed with your spouse and your spouse is trying to sleep. You can just use this remote, plug your headphones into it and you can listen in private while your spouse sleeps. Anyway, moving on. We have your typical power cord and brick. This is a nice set of headphones from JBL. This is a nice upgrade from my 2017 model. The 2017 model just contains some generic cheap crap headphones. This is a nice upgrade. And a set of AA batteries. And I believe that's everything in here. Yep, that's everything. Well, 
I am going to take a quick pause for a quick break for absolutely nothing because I have no sponsors. But when I come back, we will set this up and see how it works. Okay, we are now booting this thing up. Let's see how fast this thing comes up. That's actually pretty quick. And it's already pairing the remote automatically. Can't beat that. All right, we're going to tell it we're on English. I'm going to go with a wired connection. Oh, looks like there's already an update available, even though this is the first or second day it's been available. But, uh... Let's download the update. I guess I should mention this is on a 4K TV, a Samsung from 2016. Again, it does not have Dolby Vision, so I'm not really concerned that the fact that the Roku doesn't have Dolby Vision either. I'm going to go ahead and auto-detect display type, so the Roku remote will be able to control the TV. And we're going to say, OK, go to automatic. Yes, screen looks good. OK, let's check the remote settings. Yes, music is playing. Yes, the music stopped playing. Okay. Okay, while I activate the Roku, I may decide to hit the pause button on the recording, depending on how long this takes, but uh, I will be right back. All right, looks like we're coming to the end of all the channels it's downloading and updating and installing. As you can see, I'm a pretty heavy streamer. I have a lot of Roku channels. That's what they call them. Everybody else calls them apps, but Roku calls them channels. We are almost done here, and let's see what happens next. Interesting how YouTube happens to be the last channel it adds. Okay, we are all done. Hit the right arrow. And it looks like we're going to get a little video. Get to know your new Roku streaming player. I'm going to shut minute. this off. All right. Sorry I had to quick cancel that because, well, YouTube is pretty, uh, pretty overprotective about copyrights. And I don't wish to run afoul of the copyright overlords on my very first official video on this channel. Meantime, yes, I want to format the micro SD card. And yes, I don't care about erasing all data. And we are back, and the micro SD card is ready for use. Oh, looks like a couple of channels already have updates. And we are now at the home screen. Well, I am going to fire up Prime Video and see how fast this thing launches. And I'll be willing to bet subsequent launches will be a lot faster. Okay, I'm only going to play a few seconds of each video that I pick because I don't want to get in trouble with the copyright overlords at YouTube. But let's see how fast FBI launches.
picture quality is not all that great, but I'm sure it'll ramp up into HD. Oh, I know a little casual, but it's the end of the night, so what do you think it's Sorry, oh, we just went to dance. Yo, are you serious? Give me a break, dude. Listen, most folks that come here just stand around taking selfies. Let the sisters in. Yeah, well, that sign says I got the right to turn away anybody. That's else. better. You sure about that? I'm gonna exit Amazon. You know what? I'll try YouTube TV. And I'm gonna pause this thing again while I sign in. And we are on the YouTube TV home screen. Let's see how fast the 720p channel loads up. He sees in public schools. Senior correspondent Mike Tobin has tonight's report. Let's start with Civics 101, the three branches of government. Okay, channel loaded up relatively quick, but in SD, I'm sure that uh, will load up in HD as uh, this particular Roku starts to learn my habits and my speed and all that other kind of stuff. All right, you know what? I am, I think that's enough to uh, wrap this up as far as first impressions go. That is my unboxing and first impressions of the 2019 Roku Ultra. Let me know what you think. Have you got any comments? If you like this video, please hit the like button at the bottom of the page on YouTube. Please also hit the subscribe button so you'll find out about future videos as soon as I do them. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks.